my sweet sweet friends how are you welcome to the art cake experience channel here on my youtube channel today i'm going to be showing you how to make this fabric effect for uh animal print sort of dalmatian that i made for this corella piece uh that i just did for a cake collaboration uh, remember in the world, I don't know if you know, I said remember as you should know, but in the world of international cake decoration, there are uh, highlights called cake collaborations. People from around the, the world, friends, cake uh, decorators, cake artists, sugar artists, get together uh, to celebrate a theme, any theme. And this one is about uh, the new Cruella de Vil movie. So it has to do with fashion, it has to do with fabrics, it has to do with the 70s. My piece is inspired by a 70s gown by Yves Saint Laurent and uh, the movie, of course. So I had to include the animal print, I had to include the Dalmatian print. It's very easy to make, but it's lovely. So I decided that I want to show you how to do this here on my YouTube channel. Stay tuned and I'll show you. It's very simple. You're only going to need white sugar paste, black sugar paste, and a very old piece of not needed black sugar paste. That's all. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just, um, I already needed this uh, sugar paste, this piece of sugar paste. Let me just take my rolling pin. I don't need a big rolling pin. And I'm gonna roll out, not too thin, not too thick, uh, the piece of the white sugar paste, right? If you want, you can add a little bit. This is cornstarch, just for the sugar paste, not to glue to the mat, not get stuck on the mat. Okay, so not too thick, not too thin. Okay, this is how, how I rolled it. Now I'm going to do the same with the black sugar paste. I'm just clean this a little bit. Don't worry about the cornstarch. You won't see it uh, once everything is together and needed okay so don't worry about that okay also rolled out not too thin not too thick now on the white sugar paste what i'm going to do is i'm going to take pieces of this this is a chunk of uh sugar paste that has not been kneaded or worked or um handle because as you can see here as you can see it's quite dry but i want it like that because i'm going to just take little chunks of this little pieces different sizes they don't have to be even so see they come out like like little rocks almost so i'm just going to keep taking these little pieces because i want these pots not to be perfect this is a uh, not perfect kind of Dalmatian sugar paste um, print. So just keep taking little pieces of it. See, just take the little pieces and, right? And as you can see, I don't want this to be perfect. I just want it to be like really like little piece. I don't want this to be Perfect. I just want it to be little chunks and pieces of this sugar paste. You can even add like these little crumbles that you have around and just press them onto it and it will look great. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass my rolling pin once again on top of the sugar paste just to blend everything together and make it look like a fabric, like a print. Okay, the next step using a wet brush, just wet the, this is just water, I'm just using water. There's an, or you can use uh, edible glue or CMC on water just put together these two pieces. Just gonna add a little bit of cornstarch so it won't stick. And now, again, I'm going to blend them together 
by passing my rolling pin in it. Stretching it together. That way you have uh, two sides uh, fabric. Reversible, you see? So it depends on the fact that you want to have. You can leave this like that. I'm gonna trim it because I really want it to be like the perfect cut of the two fabrics. Okay, I'm just gonna remove this. Okay, now, just one more time, I'm gonna pass my rolling pin on the borders so they will definitely stick together and it will look like two things are glue. Also, it will give a little bit of movement to the see to the to the bottom of the of the skirt or whatever piece you're making. I love making fabrics. And here is your Cruella de Ville animal print Dalmatian inspired fabric. You can do so many things. Imagine you can open a hole here and make it into a beautiful skirt. Okay, you can drape it like I did on the dress. Let me show you what I did on the dress. What I did here was I just cut the top. I'm gonna show you. I just cut the top straight to make it straight here and just just draped it and this is how you make the skirt see just half of the skirt so you can drape it to make it a fabric you can you can put it to like open a hole in the middle and make it into a skirt uh you can do like stripes and maybe decorate something with it or you can make it into a side decoration for your cake your crowd the veal cake because you can keep draping i love draping these things so you can keep draping it and maybe show a little bit of both sides in it and it would look absolutely great on a side of a cake. So you can do a lot of things with it. And it's very malleable. It's a fabric like. Well, my friends, this is the result of this fabric uh, inspired by the movie Crowd of the Bill. So this is like animal print inspired fabric Dalmatian that I used for the dress. I really hope you like this tutorial and I invite you to check out this cake collaboration organized by my sweet friends of Sugar Mat group on Facebook. I'm going to leave the link on the comments so you can check out the work of amazing sugar artists. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe, subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again and have a wonderful day. And remember, stay creative, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.